I don't know. It's sad. Sad. Neighbors look at this home on Sycamore Street in Akron that's now empty, where three young women often stayed. I was so surprised too because everybody it seemed like they were all quiet, you know, those they're young kids. Akron police are investigating after they found the three women in their early 20s dead in the home Saturday of a suspected drug overdose. You wouldn't have thought that at all. It was, it was, a, real, it was a real shock and and then but it just it all unfolded in front of us. Police went to the home and when no one answered the door, they looked in the window and saw one woman lying on the ground. Inside, three were dead. Whether it's alcohol or opiates. Chris um, Carter is a recovered drinking, addict and former um, drug and dealer. Also, like said, he now works at Arrow Passage Recovery in Maslin. Three found in the in same uh, residence just really kind of shocked me, you know, and I, my heart really goes out to the parents. Carter says there needs to be a bigger emphasis on the education of the dangers of drugs. We need to keep on educating our young kids that are in school over and over and over to cut that stigma, but not only that, to help prevent situations like this happening. And everyone needs to get on board with finding a solution before there are more deaths. We need to stand together and we need to do this on a daily basis, not just when we feel that someone passes away because it just doesn't stop when someone passes away. It could be your child next. In Akron, Adrian DiPiazza, Fox 8 News.